Time now for your science buzz. Stories making a buzz in the world of science. The saying dead as a dodo bird may find itself extinct itself because the plan right now is to bring the dodo bird back from extinction. Yes, the odd looking flightless bird hasn't been seen around since the late 17th century, but there's a team of scientists hoping to use advances in ancient DNA sequencing, gene editing technology, and synthetic biology to bring it back. That sounds easy, right? <laughs> they hope the project will open up new techniques for bird conservation, though, and can be applicable to other bird species. All right, what may you may see in this next picture be in the eye of the bear holder, not beholder, but the bear holder. Some are saying this rock formation on Mars looks like a bear. I would agree. The University of Arizona, which operates the cameras, has a series of structural changes made the formation. The circle that makes the bear's head is actually a surface fracture that stretches nearly one and a half quarter miles. The eyes are formed by two craters and the snout is something that likely collapsed, possibly a volcanic vent. All right, we're going to wrap up with this this morning. It is National Weather Persons Day, a day to recognize those who work really hard to accurately forecast and report the always changing weather. The holiday commemorates the birth of John Jeffries, who was one of America's first weather observers in 1774. And we also want to thank all of our 11 Alive storm trackers who send in photos and videos, storm reports. You are our eyes and ears in the field, and we could not be as accurate as we are without you. You're especially crucial during severe weather events and winter weather events for us. And speaking of National Weather Persons Day, if you want to celebrate it with us, you can join the 11 Alive Storm Trackers. We're going to be out at the Children's Museum of Atlanta today this afternoon for their afternoon session. You can meet the team, practice presenting the weather, kind of see how we do it. You can also meet the Thunder Truck. It's going to be parked out on Centennial Olympic Park Drive. Lots of fun, and this is going to be for museum ticketed guests that can end up meeting our team presenting the weather. So you can find out more information on how to get a ticket at 11alive.com.